in this video, I'll begin talking about the equipment needed for a single day, or day walking. I'll start with the day walking gear you wear. The gear you wear, will depend on the weather conditions expected, together with the specific difficulty of the walk, being undertaken. Items worn on a day trip include, layers, footgear, headgear, and gloves. For the rest of this video I'll talk about layers. Layers It is best to wear a number of thin layers, in order to be flexible, with changing conditions. A number of thin layers, are generally warmer than one thick garment. The option to take off a layer of clothes, means you can prevent getting too hot, which can cause sweat, and dampen clothing. Base, or thermal, layer the layer closest to the skin, is often called the base layer, which may be ordinary clothing, but avoid cotton. It may also be made from specialist, quick-drying material, called wicking material. In very cold climates, thermal underwear may be needed. This may be in the style of shorts, or long johns, which have long legs. You may also want to wear a thermal vest, with either short, or long sleeves. Mid, or insulation, layer. The mid layer, helps to trap air, to improve insulation, from the cold. This is often one, or two, thin garments, such as a fleece, gillet, or a combination. Buying these garments, with zipped fronts is recommended, as it makes it easier to get some quick ventilation, should you get too hot. Outer, or protection, layer. The outer layer, is your layer of protection from the elements, such as wind, rain, and snow. Walking jackets. These serve as the outer layer, for the upper body, although a tarp, or poncho may also be suitable. A waterproof jacket is advisable, but a showerproof jacket, may be sufficient protection, in good weather. For extra protection, you can obtain a jacket, which is designed to be windproof. A firm peak on the hood, will also keep more wind, and rain, out of your face. Several pockets would be handy, in order to access items quickly. Walking trousers, or shorts. Regular walkers, wear modern synthetic walking trousers, because they have a loose fit, a lightweight, a quick drying, and usually have a number of very handy pockets. In good weather, some walkers wear walking shorts. However, longer trousers, provide better protection, against nettles, brambles, and ticks. We advise that you carry long trousers, in case the weather changes for the worse. Another alternative, is to use convertible walking trousers, which can be converted between shorts, and long trousers, with the aid of zips. In good weather on lowland walks, you can wear tracksuit bottoms, or casual trousers, but on long trips they can rub and annoy, in ways not noticed in normal use. Denim jeans should be avoided, as they restrict movement, and have very little room to store items in the pockets. Also, if they get wet, they can rub the legs, and take a long time to dry out. Jeans also have a high wind chill factor, which means that you can become extremely cold in them, particularly when they are wet. Waterproof overtrousers Overtrousers, can be worn over your walking trousers, and socks, to prevent them from getting wet, or muddy. Overtrousers can be purchased in a range of fabrics, similar to walking jackets, including breathable, high-tech models. A full-length zip down the sides, makes it easier to get them on, and off. Gaiters if you are going to traverse shallow water, or walk through long wet grass, gaiters are vital, to cover your footwear, trouser bottoms, and lower legs. However, if not worn correctly, gaiters are useless. Make certain there is a waterproof seal by pulling them down tight around the boot, and fixing them to your boot laces. Do not tighten gaiters around your calf when traversing water, as circulation could be reduced. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about layers. In the next video of this series, I talk about the gear you wear in terms of footgear, headgear, and gloves. You can see the complete walking equipment checklist, in the description, below the video.
support my channel by subscribing, and stay informed about future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.